thing is uh, uh, mind is something which is uh, on the self and brain is something which is on the body mm -hmm. and uh, i wanted to know whether there is any relation between the mind and the brain that means uh, mm -hmm. what i exactly want yeah. to know is um, last week i was in the hospital uh, attending to a patient uh, who is who, who had an accident and the doctor declared the brain dead mm -hmm. so when there is a brain dead case the, where is the mind or what is the relation between brain and the mind or is there any relation between the brain and the mind yeah nice question so what is being said is that the mind is part of the self when we are talking about the b2 block the feelings the thoughts the expectations sometimes this whole thing is referred to as the mind or in some contexts in tradition they may use only the expectation part uh, and refer to that as mind but important is for us to try to see what it is for ourselves then you know the naming part may vary in different places but we will understand better so this is something in the self brain is a part of the body and this is where the um what is being said is that you know the the feelings the thoughts the expectation this is going on in the mind now for thinking something for the thoughts to translate into you know effect on the body or um you can say um expression of the behavior there is some interaction between the self and the body we said that there is some exchange of information yeah. this exchange of information um is happening through the brain so for the mind to relay the to send this information it is sending it to the brain and then the brain to um coordinate in the body it sends it to the various parts of the body so for instance i think that i want to raise my hand so i have that thought that i want to raise my hand this is what i want to do and i send this information to the brain and the brain through the various nerves it sends these impulses to the nerves connecting the hand and the you know then i am able to lift the hand actually so now if you are saying you know when when somebody has accident something happens uh what we normally do is we check on the brain activity right okay so if you don't see the brain activity we say brain dead right now still uh you know life is persisting the person may be breathing yes the person may be uh the heart may be beating yes yes so what does that mean so what i would say is that the self is there the mind is there but it may not be able to send the information correctly to the brain means it may be trying to send the information but if the brain is damaged the brain can't relay this information anywhere the brain may not be able to receive this information properly and send it anywhere because it is damaged right so in that case even though the person 
you know as the self is very much there but because the brain is not able to function the person cannot respond so you say something even if the person can hear you the person may not be able to express anything because somewhere this this um passage has been interrupted isn't it yeah um, but my 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 doubt is uh, if, if the brain and doesn't send a signal how does the mind react physically i mean just i mean i want to clarify this if the brain is not responding then the mind is also not going to respond right uh no it's not like that okay. see you feel something right hmm? yes now, feeling is not linked to uh, you know you can have an a feeling independent of the body yes and that feeling this is my understanding the details you know as we go further we might be able to see better for ourselves and only then can we truly say that yes i have been able to see this clearly the interaction okay but um you can feel something without involving the brain or the body and uh for this you don't need the body but now when you want to express it outside when you have details of thinking when you have to also um see all this you know the form the various say you do these mathematical calculations all this you may involve the brain right but uh, when it comes to just feeling something you don't need to so if you are expressing the reaction outside that feeling of opposition outside then you need the body but if you are just having the feeling of opposition within you you may be continuing to do that without using the body yeah does it make sense yeah yeah it makes yeah yeah it makes sense but we can keep it all open because the moment we say we know this then we don't question it anymore right 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 exactly so yeah right right thank you ma'am thank you